Hey everyone, it's Mike Pru, and the big news of this weekend is Sony's launch of its Google TV products. And I went to the Sony store earlier today and I picked up uh, one of their set top uh, boxes, which is also a Blu ray DVD player. Um, it's kind of big. You know, as a comparison, this is the old uh, Apple TV, and you can see how it compares in size. Um, with uh, with the Sony set-top box and then this is the new Apple TV uh, which is considerably smaller uh, than both of the devices but we have to remember that it also is a Blu-ray DVD player as well one of the early criticisms of uh, this product from some of the blogs was in the remote some people felt that it was complicated and uh, a bit cumbersome I have to disagree uh, because uh, it acts as a universal remote and I was able to literally get rid of three other remotes um, as part of this. And I love the uh, full keyboard, which allows you to search and browse really quickly, which to me is the whole point of the connected TV trend. I'm going to give you guys a quick demo of some of the features of the product. Um, and the true promise of the connected TVs is in the ability to converge um, over the air content, so what's in your cable box with over the top content, uh, which is what's streaming online. And no surprise with Google TV, a big part of uh, their product is the search. And so I'm going to click on the search icon on the remote, and it brings up a simple search box. And you can search for anything, it could be a topic, an actor. In this case, let's search for a TV show. Um, let's do Modern Family. I'm simply typing, uh, and anybody with a uh, expertise in typing on a smartphone is going to love this remote. The first search result that comes up here is um, web and TV video. So I'm going to click enter and then what you'll see that comes up is different episodes and it literally converges online video with what's on my cable box. So the one episode that has already run, if I click enter, it shows me that I can watch it right now on abc.com in their full episode player or I could buy it on amazon.com in HD um, and have it stream. And then if I go back one and just click the back button on the remote, I'm going to go to an episode that hasn't yet aired. So here's their upcoming Halloween episode. And when I click on it, it tells me that it's going to air on ABC and the date and time. And then I could set up a recording on my DVR if I wanted to. Um, so it does a, a great interface there. Going back to the home screen, uh, let me take you through a few of the different content partnerships that, uh, that Google TV has made so far. Um, the first one that I really like is, uh, is in CNET. Um, and what they're doing is, uh, is integrating the lean back feature uh, and user experience, which most of the partnerships that Google TV has done is leveraging. Um, full HD, I mean, this looks like it could be from my cable box, which it's not. It's actually streaming through wireless right now. Um, and then I want to show you the navigation. So you can see on the bottom how there's that nav bar that lets me scroll through um, and see and preview different uh, shows that they have. If I click the down arrow, I get even, it actually makes the, the scroll bar go away. Um, if I click twice on the up arrow, I can see that there's uh, more categories, product videos, tech shows, buying guides. Um, so there's a lot of content in this particular partnership. I'm going to go back to the home screen, and you probably noticed the Twitter icon, and just like a lot of the set-top boxes these days, um, Twitter is a big part of it. Um, and it works really similar to the, um, to the new Twitter that came out, where I see the latest tweets. Um, I'm just going to hit refresh uh, to see if anything else new has shown up. And then if I click over to the right-hand panel, um, I have the ability to uh, reply to tweets, um, to retweet, and then over here, if there was a twit pick, it would actually appear in um, that particular panel. Clicking home again, um, let me show you the partnership with CNBC, which uh, to me is uh, just a little bit of a step closer to um, integrating uh, on the air or live content with uh, with web content. So this is streaming from uh, CNBC.com right now. What I don't like about it is it's not in HD, so it's a little bit grainy. 
Uh, but over on the right hand side are real time start stop quotes. Um, so you're able to get uh, web um, data and information in real time as well as, uh, as well as online video. But one thing that's kind of subtle and pretty neat is down here there's actually a, a link which you may be able to see which says CNBC TV. Um, and when I click it, it's going to ask me um, if I want to watch it in HD, and I do. And then it's going to actually change the channel um, on my TV and now interfacing with my cable box. And now I'm watching CNBC Live. One thing that I can do then is similar to the old days of picture in picture, I'm going to click a, an option on the remote. Now, where I'm seeing in the right hand corner on the bottom my over the air content mixed with my uh, over-the-top or streaming content online. Um, that's pretty neat. I'm going to just move the mouse over um, and the remote has a cool optical function which uh, is, let me show you, it's right here. So I'm moving my thumb and as I'm moving my thumb I actually get a mouse pointer and then I can just click on it to X out. Last thing that I'll show you guys uh, is the NBA uh, real-time stats, which I was a little bit disappointed in, to be honest. I like the fact that um, how it displays the live stats, uh, which you can get a, a perspective here, and on an HD screen, uh, it comes out really, really nice. Um, you can even collapse it to, uh, to um, not be so... Uh, so intense and hone in on individual games. What I didn't like is the fact that it doesn't integrate with any of the TV content. Um, so I would love a button or a feature to say watch the game now and I, ha I had the game running on my cable box that um, I should be able to watch it from, uh, from the screen if it's live. Um, so uh, I think the biggest thing, um, as you can probably start to get a, a sense of, is the success ultimately of these connected TVs will be in the partnerships that they have. And, uh, and while there's a, a decent base of partnerships, um, you know, including Netflix and, and YouTube's experience is great as well, especially their HD videos. Um, there's a lot of opportunity to, uh, to get more content and, and really build it up so that um, they can compete with um, all of the other boxes that are out there as well as, uh, as, well as what's going to happen ultimately with, uh, with networks and cable. Um, this is such a great and easy way to deliver and converge content. Um, and so it's going to be interesting to see what happens. So certainly stay tuned.